welcome back to your chemistry class today we are going to discuss about our same chapter 3 it is atoms and molecules see what we have discussed in our previous class that is about dalton's atomic theory that is postulates of dalton's atomic theory and then we have discussed about uh, symbols of an element so how will you calculate the symbol of an element that is uh, basilius very first uh, he used that symbol it is with the help of first letter or from a uh, first letter and other letters from an element it is uh, chosen as a symbol isn't it before that uh, dalton uh, uh, gave uh, some symbols for elements it is difficult to identify uh, then that is berthelius gave symbol for an element that is first letter or uh, first letter and other letters from an element is chosen as a symbol so in this way we are uh, writing symbols nowadays that is what a symbol first that is chemical symbol is nothing it is a short way of representing an element short way of representing an element already i said to you nowadays we have 118 elements are there so all the elements we can't keep it in the uh, form of their full name so for that uh, we need the short way of representing element that is symbol so chemically how you write uh, the chemical symbols that is i said to you the first letter or the first letter and second letter from uh, the its element name for example uh, hydrogen what is the first letter of this hydrogen it is h so you can choose this h as the symbol for hydrogen same like this helium what is this uh, first letter again h so you can choose again h as the symbol for helium so we can choose first letter what second letter see how will you mention the symbol always first letter you should write capital letter and second letter is a small letter so in this way you need to write the chemical symbols isn't it and from uh, some elements we can choose from its latin name also see how will you choose uh, for example if you will take some elements like um sodium so what see symbol for sodium What's the symbol for sodium? It is N A. But how we are taking this N A? Uh, in the sodium, there is no N, there is no A. But how we are taking this as a symbol for sodium with the Latin name? What is Latin name? That is Latin name of sodium. Is what is that? Natrium. So from this first letter and second letter we are choosing as a symbol same like this potassium so what is the symbol for potassium it is k what is latin name it is kalium what is latin name it is kalium from which we are taking first letter it is k is the symbol for potassium and same like this we are using generally uh, silver silver what is symbol it is ag so what's the latin name it is argentum so how we are taking already a r organic base so we are taking first letter and third letter so ag is the symbol same like this we can take it for gold also so what's the symbol for gold it is a u how you take it from uh, latin name it is rm so first two letter we are taking same like this do you know mercury mercury what is its latin name means it is hydrogenum from that we are taking it is hg that is hydra from hydra we are taking h from drum we are taking g so hydrogenum is the latin name for mercury so hg is the symbol so plumbum that is do you know what is plumbum it is nothing lead lead the symbol is pb what's the latin name it is plumbum see from plum we are taking p and from bum we are taking b so pb is the symbol for lead so tin what is this fn tin what is symbol fn so latin name sanum so from first letter and fourth letter we are taking it is s n it is the a symbol for tin same like this you can take it from uh, for iron 
what is the uh, symbol s k that is name param so ka form see first letter c second letter o but we are using symbol as c how we are taking from its latin name it is so from so likewise uh, we can take symbol from its latin name also so symbol is the sharp way of representing an element by using first letter a uh, first letter with other letter from its element so always first letter you should write capital letter and second letter in small letter so try so with the help of this next we are going to discuss about chemical formula at that time we have to know about what are the symbols for elements with the help of symbols we can write the chemical formula of a uh, compound so the okay see so we know very well these are uh, symbols of a element so we know very well what is atom what is atom that is atom is made up of very 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 smallest particle that cannot be divided further this is proposed by dalton john dalton see same john dalton he proposed the atomic mass of an element also what is atomic mass you have to know about what is atomic mass that is mass of an element so how will you find that atomic mass we are telling atom is too small it is very very small that particle uh, we can't see with the help of naked eye we can't see with the help of microscope see but how will you identify the mass of an atom it is too difficult so we can't uh, mass of an atom is too difficult we can't use that uh, for calculations because it is too too, too small for example atomic mass for example we can say that for example uh, atomic mass for hydrogen you know hydrogen is an element the symbol is h so do you know what is the uh, atomic mass for this hydrogen means it is c 1.673 into 10 to the power minus 24 c so before this we have write uh, 24 zero c have to add isn't it so it is two 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 small so like this the mass of an atom is very 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 small so we can't use these uh, for uh, using calculation so for that we have to find this atomic mass in the form of whole numbers isn't it for that uh, in earlier scientists they have used uh, 15 oxygen 15 as used as a uh, standard mass but nowadays they are using it as carbon 12 we know what is carbon it is an element you know very well in 1961 onward we are using car <coughs> carbon 12 isotope as used as a standard with the help of this carbon 12 isotope as used as a standard with the help of this nowadays we are calculating the mass of an element that is atomic mass so how will you calculate do you know Uh, what does mean by uh, carbon 12 isotope this is for example carbon as one element this carbon what is the atomic number and mass number do you know what is atomic number of carbon it is 6 what's the atomic number of carbon it is 6 isn't it how will you calculate the atomic number the number of protons or the number of electrons is considered as an atomic number See for carbon, number of protons also six, number of electrons also six, protons also six, number of electrons also six, and number of neutrons also six. About this we will discuss uh, further in this uh, lesson. Listen, so six. So how will you find the mass number? Means number of protons plus number of neutrons is mass number. So what's the mass number of carbon? It is twelve. So this carbon twelve is taken as a standard mass. With the help of this, we can identify other mass of an element. So how do you take this? For example, uh, if you are taking one watermelon, if you are taking one watermelon, suppose consider this watermelon as a carbon atom. See, now we are cutting this. Into twelve parts. How many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
this based on this iupac recommendation nowadays instead of this amu we are using u as the unit of atomic mass that is u is nothing it is unified mass u is unified mass so what is a one atomic mass unit what is one atomic mass unit that is 112 how we spell this 112 112 the mass of 112 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 112 the mass of one atom of carbon 12 are 
different element oxygen is different element so both different elements combine together to make a water molecule so like this atoms of different elements atoms of different elements chemically combined in a fixed ratio how will you get this water molecule that is 2 as to 1 ratio hydrogen 2 and oxygen 1 two hydrogen atom one oxygen atom is two hydrogen elements one oxygen element uh, so in the form of two is to one ratio we get water molecule likewise atoms of the different elements atoms of the different elements combined in the definite ratio to form molecule same like this we can say that carbon dioxide that is carbon is different element oxygen is different element same like this we can say that hydrogen chloride hcl hydrogen is different element cl chlorine is different element sulfuric acid in this uh, we will get hydrogen sulfur oxygen these are different elements likewise atoms of same element combine to form molecular elements atoms of different elements combine to form molecular compounds so these are called molecular elements and these are molecular compounds from this we can say atomicity of an element we know what it mean by atomicity do you know the word what is atomicity listen i'll tell you that is atomicity see atomicity is nothing the number of atoms the number of atoms present and the molecule of compound the number of atoms present in the molecule is called the number of atoms present in the molecule is called atomicity for example for example only suppose if you are taking neon how many atoms present here only one atom neon exists in the form of single entity only one atom so what is the atomicity of this uh, neon atom is it is mono atomic mono means one so mono atomic the atomicity is only one and then suppose if you are taking uh, oxygen oxygen how many exists in the form of in the form of o2 so oxygen is di atomic in nature the atomicity of oxygen is di atomic that is two two oxygen atoms combine to form this molecule so atomicity of oxygen is di atomic same like this suppose if you are taking h2so4 sulfuric acid what is the atomicity see here two hydrogen one sulfur four oxygen two hydrogen one sulfur four oxygen totally seven the number of atoms here it is seven so this is polyatomic poly means many so many atoms combine together to form this so it is called polyatomic what is this polyatomic the number of atoms present in a molecule see how many number of atoms present in this molecule it is seven so it is more than uh, four we can say it is poly polyatomic same like this ozone o3 number of atoms three so it is triatomic it is triatomic suppose phosphorus exists in the form of p4 we can say it is tetra atomic we can say it is tetra atomic sulfur always combine in the form of s8 we can say this also it is polyatomic so what's the number of atoms present here 8 so the atoms are 8 it is polyatomic so atomicity is nothing it is the number of atoms present in a molecule is called atomicity only one atom is present it is called monoatomic two atoms are present in a molecule it is called diatomic three elements are present in a molecule it is triatomic four elements are present in a molecule it is tetraatomic more than four we can say it is polyatomic so how many number of atoms present in a molecule based on this we can say what the atomicity of a molecule is it clear so next we are going to discuss about ions listen see now we are going to discuss about ions see what are do you know what are ions ions is different from 
molecules we already have discussed about molecules what are molecules molecules are electrically neutral group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together molecules are neutral group of two or more atoms that is chemically bonded together it is neutral group there is no charge see here here we are going to discuss about ions what are ions see before going there you have to know about the difference between ion and ion this is ion it is an uh, element the symbol is fe you know very well and uh, this is different from ion ions are ions are charged particles generally ions are charged particles and ions and ion is a positively positively and also negatively positively and also negatively charged atom or group of atom six ions are what ions are charged particles ions are charged particles what are ions generally ions are charged particles ions are charged particles that means an ion is a positively or negatively charged atom or group of atoms see you know that we have different types of ions that are positive ions and then negative ions that are positively charged ions are called cations and then negatively charged ions are called anions see before this you have to know about uh, atoms can be divided into subatomic particles like protons electrons and neutrons see inside the atom we have these particles like protons electrons and neutrons in this protons are positively charged particles and electrons are negatively charged particles and neutrons are neutral particles about this we will discuss in your next chapter isn't it so see based on these uh, topic that is proton is positively charged and the electron is negatively charged these two makes an atom it is electrically neutral these two makes an atom it is an electrically neutral so based on this uh, we know very well it is ions are charged particles ions are charged particles in this positively charged ions are called cations and the negatively charged ions are called anions for example we can say that uh, for cations positively charged particles we can say that is sodium ion na plus and then magnesium ion mg2 plus sodium ion magnesium ion and then ammonium ion nh so plus and so on same like this we can see some examples for anions examples for anions that is chloride ion chloride ion as well as fluoride ion as well as oxide ion chloride fluoride oxide as well as sulfate ion etc oxide and also sulfate sulfate ion carbonate ion etc listen these are some examples for cations and anions see uh, just i am telling that is na plus mg2 plus nh4 plus we you know what are these that are this is plus we know very well plus means it indicates positive charge see here cl minus f minus o2 minus so4 2 minus and co3 2 minus these indicates it is minus it is negative so these indicates negative uh, charged ions and these indicates positive charged ions so we are calling these are cations these are anions do you know how these uh, cations and anions form do you know how will you get these cations and anions listen see we know very well that is metals are metals are electro positive in nature non metals are electro negative in nature already we have discussed in our eighth grade this that is what about metals they are electro positive in nature that means 
during chemical reaction suppose if we are taking na what is this na at a sodium metal isn't it at a sodium metal sodium element okay so this sodium element during chemical reaction what will happen me it will lose one electron for that you have to know how many electrons are present in this sodium what's the atomic number of sodium at us 11 that means uh, in sodium totally 11 electrons are present in that 11 electrons are arranged like this in sodium above this we will discuss in your next chapter okay this is number of electrons present in different cells different cells we can say like that so above this we will discuss in our next chapter just listen see sodium generally has 11 total are 11 electrons so the atomic number of sodium we can say that is 11 isn't it so the sodium during chemical reaction it will lose one electron sodium will lose one electron it will lose one electron totally it has 11 electrons it will lose one electron so loss of electron will give half the charge to the atom now it will lose one electron so it has only to an h so totally it has 11 electrons one electron it will lose and totally it has 10 electrons after a reaction this is called sodium ion this is called sodium ion see now uh, you want to know the answer why the sodium will lose electron because the sodium will lose electron because to so attain stable state during chemical reaction all the uh, elements will involve to attain stable state so that's why it will lose electron or gain electron or it will share electron okay so about that we will discuss later just listen this is sodium metal generally metals will lose electron to attain stable state attain stable state why it got to attain stable state means you know that generally in nature we have noble gas that is rare gas that rare gas is generally it has like helium neon argon krypton xenon radon these are called as rare gases the atomic number of this gas is 2 10 18 and so on so that see here see so attain this uh, rare gas noble gas uh, like this it will last electron or gain electron or share electron because these noble gases are already stable and state in nature okay so to attain nearest noble gas it will last or gain or will share see sodium how many electrons it has it is 11 so what is this nearest stable state it is 10 so it want to attain stable state means it want to get only 10 electrons so this will last one extra electron so it will get positive charge na plus so see here See here, how many protons are here? It is 11 protons, and the electron also 11, isn't it? But see here now, it is total already 11 only, but only electron only it is last one electron ten. So due to this, you can identify only during chemical reaction the transfer of electron only takes place. There is no change in proton because protons are present deep inside the nucleus. so only electrons only present in outer side so that only involved in the chemical reaction so generally metals lost electrons to form positive ions and same like this same like this non metals will gain electrons for example we can say that is fluorine is it this? this is fluorine it is one of the non metal fluorine is one of the non metal same like this chlorine also one of the non metal if you will take chlorine what will happen atomic number of chlorine is 17 what's the atomic number of chlorine 17 like this chlorine has proton also 17 electron also 17 understand proton also 17 electron also 17 why i am telling proton is 17 electron is 17 means because atomic number is the proton number or electron number that we will discuss later so it has 7 protons 17 protons and 17 electrons so in uh, electronic configuration play like this it will be like this that is 
arrangement of electrons is differences okay so about that i will discuss you later this is so see here which is the nearest stable state this chlorine will attain nearest stable state of argon because this is 17 argon is 18 so it want to attain nearest stable state means it want to gain one more electron it want to gain one more electron then it will attain negative charge so now already for protons 17 protons are present electrons already only 17 but gaining of electron is 1 so totally electron is now 18 so you know very well protons are positively charged particles electrons are negatively charged particles so one electron is extra so one charge is extra same like this thing here one proton is extra so it got a positive charge same like this suppose if we have it is whether it is oxygen means Uh, only it has eight electrons and nearest uh, stable state is near so it need two more electrons so it will get o2 minus okay suppose if we will take magnesium uh, that atomic number is 12 so nearest stable state near so it will lose two electrons so loss of electron gives positive charge so like this ions are nothing and ion is a positively or negatively charged atom or group of atoms see here these are single atoms to form ion see here group of atoms hydrogen hydrogen different atoms combine to form charge that is ion and same like the sulfur oxygen combine to form sulfate ion carbon oxygen combine to form carbonate ion so like this single atom or group of atoms combine to form ion so these are called ions cations and anions cations are positively charged ions and anions are negatively charged ions and we can say this group of ions are called polyatomic ions polyatomic ion that means a group of group of atoms with charge what is called poly means many so many atoms combined with charge is called polyatomic ion and group of atom with charge it is called poly atomic ion it may be positive or negative so whether it is positive that is poly atomic cation whether it is negative poly atomic anion so and group of atom with charge is called poly atomic ion what is called poly atomic ion group of atoms carrying charge is called poly atomic ion Isn't it? So ions are uh, charged particles, positively charged ions are cations, and the negatively charged ions are anions. And cations will form with the help of loss of electrons, and anions will form with the help of gain of electrons. So keep it in your mind. Only during chemical reaction, the exchange of electrons only takes place. There is no change in proton. Isn't it? Okay. So listen. Next. we are going to discuss about okay listen next we are going to discuss about chemical formula chemical formula do you know what is meant by chemical formula see what is chemical symbol already we have discussed it is a short way of representing an element See this chemical formula is nothing. It is a short way of representing representing a compound or molecule. Short way of representing a molecule or compound. It is a short way of representing a molecule or a compound. A small word. It is a chemical formula. chemical symbol is a short way of representing elements only chemical formula is a short way of representing a molecule or compound it's called chemical formula see for writing chemical formula uh, you have to write step by step first you have to know the symbol of both cation as well as anion see do you know uh, for writing chemical formula we have to follow some steps isn't it first 
you have to write listen first you have to write cation in left side anion in right side suppose write the chemical formula of write the chemical formula of uh, sodium sodium chloride how will you write write the chemical formula of sodium chloride so how will you write for this first you have to write the symbols of cations and anions side by side that is what is the symbol for sodium that is na what is the symbol for sodium you have to write the metal symbol that is sodium it is left side and chloride it is negative ion in right side see do you keep it in your mind sodium ion chloride ion whenever uh, we are telling that passing ion this we are adding the element name with ion but see here whenever we are using negative ion we are using that is sulfide ion sulfate ion sulfide ion this is sulfide sulfate sulfide chloride chlorate like this we will use see all this negative ions we will use with ide ate or ite okay but positive ion we will write the element name with ion whether it is magnesium it is magnesium ion whether it is calcium calcium ion whether it is sodium sodium ion but negative charge ion whether it is oxygen you have to write it is oxide ion we have to add ide so oxide sulfide sulfate sulfide so in negative ion we will add ide ate or ite like this so you have to keep in your mind see this is sodium na chloride that is chlorine ion that is chloride cl isn't it so first you have to write the symbol side by side then second step listen second step you have to write the valencies of this element for that you have to know what is mean by valency what is mean by valency about the valency we will discuss in your next chapter but i will explain you listen valency let us see combining capacity of an element valency is the combining capacity of an element during chemical reaction the loss of electron or gain of electron or sharing of electron is said to be valency see for example we have discussed that is sodium last one electron to form na plus same like this chlorine gain one electron to form cl minus isn't it so this na plus only one electron last so valency is one one electron gain valency is one same like this oxide it will gain two electrons so valency is two valency is two and then same like this magnesium last two electrons valency is two like this during chemical reaction loss of electrons or gain of electrons or sharing of electrons is said to be valency so you have to know the valency what is valency for sodium that is actually sodium will last one electron so valency one chlorine also will gain one electron valency but next step if any compound radical is there you must put this in bracket there is no compound radical what is that that is two or more atom with charge that is polyatomic ion if any polyatomic ion means you should put with in bracket there is no polyatomic ion only it is na plus so valency one cl minus valency one so one one so no problem then next you have to cross cross the valency that means this valency you have to write here and this valency you have to write here like this you have to write see here na and you have to write chlorine valency and cl and you have to write the sodium valency here so both valencies are same no need to write both valencies are same no need to write so what is the formula for sodium chloride it is nacl what is the formula for sodium chloride it is nacl suppose instead of this now i am asking write the formula 
formula for it is formula for that is sodium sodium sulfate how do you write what is symbol for sodium that is na charge na plus and sulfate so4 2 minus that means na plus means valency what so4 2 minus means valency 2 isn't it and here right now this was the valency before that what is the uh, compound directly here that is polyatomic ion this is so4 sulfate isn't it see so na and you have to write the valency sulfate valency here and sulfate so4 right within bracket and what the valency for sodium one so one means no need to write so what the formula for sodium sulfate na2so4 na2so4 same like this suppose instead of sodium sulfate suppose i am asking whether it is aluminium sulfate how will you write aluminium al it is al3 plus because aluminium atomic number 13 it will last three electrons and sulfate so4 2 minus so valency aluminium valency 3 sulfate valency 2 then cross cross before that compound radical put within bracket so al valency here 2 and then sulfate so4 write in bracket and aluminium valency 3 you want to write here suppose there is no bracket what will happen you will write so43 isn't it the three will come here so this is not a correct method you have to write any compound radical you must put within bracket that is polyatomic ion you have to put within bracket so al2 aluminum that is sulfate valency 2 and so4 sulfate and valency 3 so al2 so4 thrice is the formula for aluminum sulfate the chemical formula for aluminum sulfate so like this first you need to write the positive radical and negative radical side by side positive radical in left side negative radical in right side then you need to write the valences below the symbols okay next if any compound radical is there you must put within bracket then you need to cross cross the valences then interchange the valency and write finally without charge you need to write the formula no need to mention the charge finally so what is the formula for sodium chloride it is nacl while writing n cap a small c cap l small same like this and sodium sulfate na2so4 and same like this aluminum sulfate al2so4 thrice so like this without charge finally you have to write the formula so this is the way to write chemical formula so listen children what we have discussed today today we have discussed about what is the water molecules and uh, what are ions and what are uh, cations and what are anions and what is chemical formula and how you write the chemical formula so uh, revise this video carefully and if you have any doubt go through once again and thank you children